What's happening my curious bunch of health fanatics? Welcome back to the channel. Today we embark on a fascinating journey into the realm of genetics and aging. But first, a quick message to the Google moderators. We are not selling or promoting any product or service. We are simply sharing health science news. And if you like this type of content, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. It's seriously helpful to con content creators like us. So let's dive in. Have you ever wondered how our bodies age? Well, let's delve into something called RNA polymerase 2, or what scientists call POL2. I'm gonna give you a quick crash course in genetics and then show you how to control this little enzyme. To understand the connection between POL2 and aging, we need to grasp the basics of gene expression. Our DNA contains thousands of genes and each gene consists of thousands or even millions of amino acids. However, the sequence of the amino acids is what, is what codes for the thousands of different proteins found inside the human body. So think of the amino acid sequence like computer code or software. The sequence of amino acids simply codes for various proteins and this is why we call it genetic code. The classic double helix DNA molecule is tightly wound and packaged around chromosomes, making the DNA double helix inaccessible for the reading of those amino acid sequences. So the DNA first needs to be unwound at the point of interest. This is where RNA polymerase 2 or POL2 comes into play. POL2 is a complex enzyme that acts as a molecular machine. It navigates along the DNA strand, unwinding it and reading the instructions encoded in the genes. As it moves, it creates an RNA copy of the gene called messenger RNA or mRNA. And here's the fascinating part. The mRNA produced by POL2 carries the instructions to machines called ribosomes, where, which are the building or the protein building factories within our cells. The ribosomes read the mRNA and synthesize proteins accordingly. So you might be wondering, how does this process relate to aging or you? Well, a paper recently published in Nature found that POL2 speed increased with age and the faster that POL2 went, the faster you aged. This was determined by inducing genetic variants or changes in POL2 to make it work less efficiently and what was seen was a life, lifespan extension. The same team also overexpressed products called histones, which you could consider cylinder-shaped proteins that DNA is woven around. Now, this slowed down POL2, and again, we saw increases in lifespan. But interestingly, there was another bonus here, and that it increased the divisional limits of cells, meaning it may lengthen telomeres, or at least produce a similar effect as having longer telomeres does. And if you don't know what a telomere is, I'll link to another video shortly. And a few other papers have shown a relation in POL2 and its role in the maintenance of telomeres. So how is this relevant? Well, of course, I always give answers or solutions when possible, as opposed to just rigid scientific data. So the big question you're asking is, how can you mimic the same effect of slowing down POL2? Well, the very same paper says, and I quote here, two lifespan extensing interventions, dietary restriction and lowered insulin IGF signaling both reversed most of these aging related changes, end quote. So even though some longevity experts have leaned away from calorie restriction or even fasting, mimicking the same effect of POL2 regulation is one of the biggest reasons I continue to fast from around 6 p.m. to lunchtime the next day. But what about the second method? regarding reducing IGF signaling. Well, to inhibit IGF signaling, protein intake is a stronger trigger of IGF signaling along with testosterone and growth hormone. And this is because IGF is really a growth pathway. So anything that activates that pathway will speed up POL2. And when it comes to protein activating IGF-1, there is some fascinating data that comes with a study. A study that was performed across 18 years found that high protein intake was associated with a 75% increase in overall mortality and fourfold increase in cancer and diabetes mortality. But when the protein was shifted to plant-based sources, those associations in early death were either abolished or attenuated. So if protein is important to you, but also aging, then plant protein may be a good solution for you. Many other papers also show that increased IGF signaling accelerates the aging process. So to summarize, POL2's impact on aging lies in its ability to transcribe genes accurately 
its interaction with transcription factors, and its involvement with telomere maintenance. As POL2's efficiency declines with age, gene expression becomes impaired, which contributes to the gradual breakdown of cellular functions and the aging process. Always chat with your doctor about health data you see online. Don't forget to grab a copy of my book, The Anti-Aging Toolkit. Hit that thumbs up button, fist bump the subscribe button, or face the consequences of your actions. Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.